Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a animated lower third. And I have exactly what we're going to do in this video. It's going to be very quick and it's going to look something like this. And you're able to use this in your uh, whatever video editing software because you're able to download the video as an MP4. So right there so i'm going to start from the top and go right into canva i'm big on using templates so i just uh wanted to use a size that kind of matches what i'm looking for so i just went with a postcard and of course when you're able to use or when you're using canva pro you're able to change sizes so even if you chose the wrong size to start you can change it and again if you're interested in canva please look in the description. You're going to see a link that gives you it for free. Uh, and then if you want to use Pro, that's even better. So uh, let's get right into it. So what you're going to do is uh, when you come into your template, I chose a frame to start because as in the example, I got a picture there. So to get the frame, you go to elements and then Go to frames and I'm working with a circle frame. And I'm just going to make the background dark. To do that, you just hit the background, the background color and change that to black. So I'm just going to size that down a bit. Next, I'm going to bring in another shape that's going to be the uh, lower third, basically. So I went with... Um, this uh, arrow shape-ish and just change dimension to 90 degrees and I'm going to align it with the shape of the circle. Let's just put it here and bring it right out. So again, what's so great with Canva is that you get templates to work it. I don't have to go in and try and make the shape. The shape already exists. So I'm just going to bring the frame forward and we have something looking good already. So next while I'm in shapes, I'm going to pull a circle shape and this will basically serve as a border around the uh, frame. So let's just put this backward and again, this is how you change your layers or adjust them is to hit position and choose whatever direction you like it to go. So I'm just going to resize that a bit. And now we have it right around a circle. Perfect. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Now you can really go crazy with your shapes and layouts. I'm just trying to show you an easy way to get something um, looking really decent that will look great on your videos and, um, you know, just something simple and easy to do. So to change the color, you're able to hit the current color palettes and change them. Your, you can choose your colors here, you can do your own. So I'm just going to, again, go for something a little bit purpley. I don't know if that's a color, purpley, I don't know. And leave that gray. And I'm, I'm going to duplicate this layer and make another one. So uh, let's, you just come over to your right, hit duplicate. And I'm just going to make this a little bit larger than everybody else and put it right to the back. And let's change that color to purple. There we go. Now it's all blended and it looks great. Next, we're going to add some text. Hit the uh, template over here and pull the text into the location that we want it to go. And then to change the font, you come here to your font settings. And this is the font I use. So if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, this is the font you're looking for. And I'm going to call it, just call it cool lower third. And it's right here on the right. And next I'm going to just go back in and find a picture to use here. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down. So I got a nice image I can use. And the best thing about the frame is you're able to pull it in and still edit. So you're able to crop and it's automatic, which is great. So now I got my picture in the title in, and we are already done. That didn't take much time. It was less than 
uh, five minutes. So we've got our lower third going. So finally, to complete this, we're going to animate it. Uh, hit the animate button and you're able to choose, you know, whatever works for you, whatever look you're going for, if you want it to pop on. I think that looks great. Uh, baseline just slides in and, uh, you know, you can go crazy, go with whatever uh, style you want. So this is a feature given to you in Canva Pro. So if you're really looking into Canva Pro again, I'm telling you, I have a free link. It's in the description. Go ahead, check it out, at least get it for free. And if you want to go for pro, go for it. But this is some of the cool things that you'll be able to do. So again, I think I'm going to stick with baseline for this. And right now I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I guess one more thing I could do was just to kind of make this pop a little more just to duplicate this layer, put it behind everything. Uh, Put it to back and uh, make everything white. And now we got it kind of standing out a little bit more. So let's pull this in a bit. Let's click off and there you go. So now you got this cool lower third made by you. You didn't have to go to any graphic software or anything right here in Canva and it's animated. So let's look at the final product. There you go. This will pop up at the bottom of your video. Again, I do recommend that if you're, when you're going to edit to change the background to a green so that you're able to treat it as a green screen. And then to download, we come over to your right, hit download. And then hit MP4 video, press download, and let Canva do its thing. And there you go, it's done. It's ready to go. So if I open uh, this video up, let's play again from the beginning. There we go. So that's it. Your video is ready to go and uh, you've downloaded it and now you can put it into your video editing software. Thanks again for watching. I really hope this was helpful. This is something cool that you can use in your videos right now. Again, I have to ask you to please, if you like this content to subscribe, it goes a far away in motivating me to create more videos for you just like this. And I never end without saying thanks for watching.